say hi at least two or three times and I'm sure before the end of the day you gotta say goodbye at least two or three times before it's official so that's that's the reason for a little late start today uh, we want to welcome everyone on this very happy occasion very beautiful sunny day here in central Maui uh, it reminds me of Waianae where I come from although we don't have the nice breezes like you do so thank you for making me feel at home um, we're here today to break ground on the central Regional Sports Complex. Um, before we go into the, the speeches, uh, I would like to acknowledge, of course, the governor. Council members that aren't here are um, at a council meeting, I understand. So the ones that are here, uh, Bob, a lot, thank you for coming. by our, Mayor Arakawa's house and just uh, come, took up leaves from the trees. So if you go home and they're missing, we know. <laughs> but it, your wife said okay. okay. Then finally, I would like to just acknowledge uh, everyone uh, that, uh, that is in attendance here today, including folks who disagree with the process. And there is, you know, there is a democracy, and that's why we have these processes. So just want to acknowledge those folks out there and the, their ability to practice democracy. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Governor Neil Abercrombie. Thank you, William. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Well, you may, some may wonder why uh, I particularly wanted to be at uh, what is, is by definition a, a complex for, for Maui today. Well, part of the reason is sitting right there next next to the mayor, and uh, that's uh, Lieutenant Governor Shun Patui. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just call him. Uh, how about Shan? How about Shan? Let's do that. Let's call him Shan. 
very pleased. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, uh, that uh, uh, the idea, I don't think uh, that Channel 7 is here today uh, to make sure that you are transported. I, I did recommend a three-wheeled tricycle for him to get around on Maui, but actually what we decided to do was is say that if the lieutenant governor is from a neighbor island or if like four years from now, the lieutenant governor becomes the governor and is from a neighbor island like Maui, then uh, we're going to make absolutely certain that uh, we treat everybody equally and that everybody has a chance and you don't have to live on Oahu in order to have elective office. Especially when you have somebody with the talent and foresight of, uh, of Shan Setsui. Uh, because my knowledge of the, of, of the park, the complex here, the sports complex, the regional sports complex, which exists, of course, on, on other islands, like, like on Oahu, the Patsy Mink uh, complex, fabulous, uh, what was barren ground, what was, uh, what was uh, a, a complete waste, uh, has now been turned into a place of joy. Uh, not just for the kids, but for uh, the Makulis as well, for, for the, the league. Now, it takes a little longer for that game to take place. Uh, why are you smiling, Victorino? You're right. Because you know. I'm here and I participate. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, and, I, and I can assure you, uh, hamstring injury, injuries are not hereditary, so no worry about that. About that. Right. So... Uh, and, and having and, and the other part about, uh, uh, as William said, you can't always get agreement uh, on everything, uh, all the way up and down the line, uh, no matter what. It, even when it's something as joyful uh, as the park and, and the, the voices of little kids and, and the opportunity for people to play and, and recreate and enjoy themselves, you can't always get agreement. Because I've been, I've been through that myself in, in Manoa. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, my home is in Manoa. Uh, the park is uh, the Manoa Park. Uh, is right in the middle of a, of a neighborhood up there, and uh, we actually put in a, 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 a elderly housing, housing for elderly folks, um, independent elderly living, and, and expanded ball fields and all that. And there was concerns at the time, and what it turns out to be is uh, now everybody loves it, including the community gardens uh, that are there now. So what it is an opportunity to, uh, and what the park offers is an opportunity now for people to get together, uh, for talk, talk over uh, uh, what what they think uh, would uh, would be uh, uh, possible in terms of uh, recreation, in terms of uh, bringing joy into people's lives, and turning that which was uh, otherwise barren and, and unused in, into something that uh, that enhances uh, the community life uh, uh, for everyone. And so it's a pleasure for me to to uh, be able to do whatever is necessary on the, on the part of the state administration to aid and abet uh, what uh, our legislators and county officials have, have put together and to see to it that as this evolves uh, and the Central Maui Regional Sports Complex uh, takes on the, the character of the, of the people who will participate in it, uh, that we then recognize, as, you, as we will down the line, that no one will remember five years from now what the arguments were all about, what they, what they will be recalling and what they will be enjoying is the participation of the entire community in, in activities that brings joy to everyone. Thank you very, very much. Next we're going to hear from Mayor Alan Oracle. I guess I should still say good morning, <laughs> but it's real close. But thank you all for coming. You know, one of the no, no. goals that we strive for in our communities are to try and enhance the quality of life for everyone within the communities. And playgrounds and active, active playing parks truly help our communities in tremendous ways. In a lot of communities that we visit on the mainland, there's not active parks. You have gangs, kids sitting around on the streets with nothing to do. And one of the things that we really pride ourselves with our community is we actually provide for all of our children, all of our adults, to be able to be able to recreate and be able to have a high quality of life. You know, the governor was joking a little bit, but Mike Victorino and I will actually be playing in the state softball tournament. It's going to be here on Maui, it's starting next week, Tuesday. Is that a slow pitch? <laughs> it's, it's slow pitch, but governor, anytime you want to get on the field with us. We, 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 we have had um, re 
residents here that are in their 90s playing on the ball field. So in, in order for us to be able to keep physically fit and to be able to keep active, active fields are necessary. And we find that the more that we recreate, the better we are able to deal with the regular life. And it's really important for us. You know, pretty much uh, kitty corner from my house, I'm on Kevin Hina, Kahului School, we have a complex. And it's very similar to what we have here. We have Maui High School, Kahului School, and along that entire area we have ball fields, we have basketball courts, tennis courts. Uh, the community is right next to it, just like it will be here. And nobody in those communities complains about it. We all get to go and play, and we all get to recreate. But firsthand, I get to hear some of the cheering that's happening when people are playing basketball in the evening. And I know that when we go and do our practicing, uh, we all enjoy the, the games over there. We're not going to have thousands of people uh, at any one time to watch any ball game. It just doesn't happen in our community. So we have to look at the realities of what really are and how much joy it brings to people that are in the communities. To have our children be able to run down to the courts and be able to have some place to just run around and play is really important. Where we don't have this, they're playing in the streets and getting into trouble. So active fields to me are one of the, the real critical reasons why Maui County is where it's at today. And I, I do want to take this opportunity to, to thank our Lieutenant Governor specifically for all the effort that he's put in even when he was in the Senate and even prior to that uh, because he's been very, very active with our youth and he actually coaches. Now, this is the first part that we've truly worked together on, county and state, to be able to create an active, active field. And this is one of the first projects I think most of the state people that are working on this have actually done as far as creating an active park. So they said, could you please create a park for us? Because we need it, and our kids are suffering. And we've gone through the efforts of creating parks in uh, everything from retention basins, uh, every place we can scrounge up property. Because having kids, laughter, and joy truly is a blessing that all communities can enjoy. And it's a goal for us. So I just want to thank everybody involved in the efforts all the way around. And I know that there are people that are going to find some challenges or perceive some challenges. But after everything is said, uh, if there are still challenges when everything is constructed, we'll work with it. You know, nothing, nothing is cut with granite that has to be inherited, but you'll see that many of the things that are perceived won't, won't be challenges after everything is done. And that's my experience speaking, having worked with really dozens of parts, once Cape Polani Park, Areas around War Memorial uh, have been active. So every community that we have has active parks within it. We expanded uh, Makawao, we've expanded Kula. Uh, I was there when we started the, the Kula, uh, Kula School and the parks around it. And I can just literally go through dozens and dozens of opportunities that we've had like this. But it takes tremendous work to get the community put together, to be able to get the funding put together, to be able to get the engineering work put together to get the facilities built in a way that we can be proud of. And I'm sure that when this project is done, this will be part of a complex that we're going to be able to have. This whole area will have walking paths, it will have jogging paths, it will have active fields, it will have passive areas for community centers, and it will have another 209 acres on the other side where we're going to do a lot more recreating. And we'll adjust. So as their challenges have come up, we'll be able to make some of those adjustments and we'll just play it by ear and we'll see what happens. But the sooner we get this facility built, the sooner I get to get off the phone and I don't have to explain to everybody why we can't have the practice fields, why the little leagues are, can't compete, they can't use the fields, why we can't have the seniors using practice fields, why we have to have one league favoring another league. You know, we have literally dozens and dozens and dozens of sports leagues right now that are competing for the facilities that we do have. 
And I'm very certain I can say with great confidence, even if we double the amount of active fields we had, we won't have enough. So we, we're on the, on the right path, creating what the community needs. I just want to thank everybody involved in getting this to this point. And at the end of the day, I'm hoping that the benefits we see as a community as a whole, the benefits to all of our children, the benefits to the families, the benefits to the future generations, will far outweigh any of the challenges that we do have within the community. So thank you very much, and again, we really appreciate it. been the director to kind of move this project forward that this has truly been a collaborative process both from the legislature funding the administration planning um, the community really asking for it um, this has been one of the most collaborative processes that I have worked on there from my staff to your staff we don't normally do ballparks your staff has been extremely helpful to us and um, very cooperative with us. And so it is with all of this work going forward that we are here today. Um, and so to have the community's viewpoint, I'm going to ask John Viola to come up and speak. Hello, everybody. And it's an honor. Uh, to be here for this dedication, and not to mention, it's very exciting on um, the community's part uh, for this dedication. Um, as a lifelong resident here on Maui, um, grew up playing, and I continue to play here on Maui. Um, and the fields we have is um, actually not enough, you know. However, yeah, um, as our population grow, and um, we have seen um, this tremendous growth. Um, in the levels of our sports activities. You know, where the organization we come from, you know, we feel um, and we serve about a little over 400 kids just in our organization. But not to mention there's uh, a lot more others out there on, on the island of Maui. So, you know, we have outgrown the field inventory here. And like, um, you know, I said previous, uh, even though we build more fields, uh, it still won't be enough, but it still would um, give our kids more opportunity to participate in, in athletic activities. Um, everyone here on Maui, you know, being the youth or even our senior athletes like uh, our mayor and uh, councilman Victorino, parents, grandparents, spectators deserve this regional park. Um, you know, we, we really deserve it. Um, as a father and a coach, you know, I'm so grateful for the, the state and the county to work together and uh, make this work and this complex a reality. You know, so thank you to uh, the LNR um, for taking the uh, the coordination and the planning for this work. Um, and we look forward to the day, and yeah, not too distant future, when we can see the first baseball thrown and the first soccer ball kicked, and we can see our uh, kupunas, you know, exercising in these fields and these parks. And, um, and and make the best use of it. So again, thank you for everyone who have made this possible. And uh, mahalo. So our next speaker is Chad Goodfellow. Good afternoon. Just speaking for Myself, my family, and good fellow brothers just would like to thank all the people that helped put this, make this park possible. Um, this project is going to generate over 30,000 hours for our construction trades labor. It's um, extremely important, particularly at this time, to have projects like these for our workers, for a lot of the working men here, to be able to keep continue their livelihoods. And. Um, you know, we build a lot of things. We build landfills. We build wastewater treatment plants. We build all kinds of stuff. But there's a place in our heart for building parks because parks bring communities together. They bring people together. And we all have memories of ourselves growing up, time spent with your friends, your loved ones at parks just like the Central Maui Regional Park. So 
I'd just like to say, one, it's an honor for us to be able to be a part of this team. And another thing that I'd like to say, you know, true leadership comes in challenging times. It's easy to be the captain of the ship when, the, when it's flat calm out. You know, anybody can get up. But when you're trying to steer a ship when the seas are rough, and frankly, the last four years, it's been Hurricane Aniki all over again. And we're just so fortunate and so thankful to have the leadership sitting right up here and out here to be able to help the working man, help the people of this state. And we're just so blessed to have each one of these wonderful individuals. And so I'd just like to thank everyone here. And, um, and we're really looking forward to getting going and having a lot of great memories. And I'm sure that everybody that's here in the vest today or associated with Goodfellows is not only going to put in a good eight hours work, I'm sure they're going to put their blood, sweat, and tears because it's going to be their children and their grandchildren that are going to be playing in this part. So without further ado, the Kenna Governor. And of us kind of got together and started talking about it. And I remember approaching Mayor Arakawa even at that time and talking to him about this concept and what we could do by bringing the community, community together, by working in partnership. And really, I think that's why we're here today. And so, you know, there are so many people to thank, um, you know, from my colleagues in the state legislature who supported this project even after I left uh, the, the Senate, um, the House of Representatives who also concurred with the project and understood how important it was for our community here. Um, the mayor, his administration, his cabinet, the directors, our council members, who, who every single time that uh, the State Department of Land and Natural Resources needed help, they were there. And we worked together, and you know, it, it is because of, and I, and I look at the faces out there, many, many folks here who we've had many, many meetings with, um, from the consultants to the community leaders, I want to say thank you. Uh, thank you not on behalf of myself, but really on behalf of the tens of thousands of keiki, the thousands of seniors, apparently, too, that will be utilizing these fields. And, and, and I do have a pledge. You know, I know that there are some surrounding community members who are, are concerned. And they have my commitment that we will, although we're moving forward, we will, we will be committed to trying to address some of these concerns, be it noise, lighting, traffic. Um, it is important. I think any time you start a project, you want to be a good neighbor. And so we are going to continue to do that. That's the way I've always operated in, in the state legislature. That's the way I continue to believe that we need to work as a community. It's not about dividing the community. It's about us coming together. And yes, we're not always going to agree on everything, but I'm sure we can come to some common ground and find that we have more in common and more that we agree with than what we disagree with. And so at the end of the day, I just want to say mahalo. Mahalo to each and every one of you for your support and for allowing us to be here today and let's get moving with the blessing. Aloha. And in that vein, um, Kahu is out there, he's ready to roll. Um, before we're done, uh, I want to invite everyone to come. Yeah, yeah. 